2. Okay. So 2 times 2 times by 26 times by 26 divided by 2 plus by 8. 8 times 2 times 25. 8 times 2 times 20, eh, 8 times 2 times 25 plus by 26 times 26 divided by 2 times by 2 times 2. So I get 1752. Is this 1752? Maybe I got it wrong. 2 times 2, yeah, 1752. So this is good to 1752 millimeter cube. So as I said, before I start <laughs> my le our lecture, I realized that uh, this is not good news. Okay, now if we base the analysis below the centroid, okay, it is the, a a white flange. Why is a white flange? No doubt, it looks like a box. Okay, why is it a white flange? Right, it's because the shear flow is coming down this way. Right, then it's going back up here. So once once I got this, I realized uh, I'm a bit of a trouble. Okay, as I said, I only discovered this okay just last week. Okay, so v is equal to five times ten to the power three. Right, so this will be one ten five two times ten to the power minus nine. Okay. Once, let me write properly. So this is uh, 1752, 10 to power minus 9. Okay. Then I is still the same. And then thickness. I no need to divide by 2 because it's a what? white flange. So for white flange, it's a single Q. For a box beam, you guys know that it's a 2Q. Okay, so once we got this, and by observation, you know that it's not going to be the same number. So get thirty two point seven four five. Okay, seven four five times ten to the power six Pascal. Okay, so there there is something wrong already. Okay. So, so we know that the shear at point D from the top is not equal to the shear at point D from the bottom. Okay, now this is wrong already. Okay, so this is, when I say that this is wrong means, yeah, the numbers are not the same and it has to be the same. I repeat again, it has to be the same because we have proven, okay, we have proven the concept. I think I got the wrong. We're we 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 have proven the concept, right? We have proven the concept. Oops, it's not this one. Seven week seven. Okay, we have proven the concept over here. Either you take from the top. Right, so this is analysis based on the box in. So this is from the top, or from the bottom. It has to be the same, and we have we have did, did this twice. Okay, so we again prove it mathematically again. Okay, I think it was before. This is week five. I think it's for week four lecture. So I go back to week four lecture, right? Let me see. Maybe it's on the no. No, I'm I'm trying to find the example, okay? Yeah, this is the one, okay? So over here, right? This this is on week four before our term test. So we base our analysis from the top. Right, this is the function that we've got. Right, then when we did again the analysis from the bottom, right, both equations turn out to be the same. So something is wrong somewhere, 
am I right? There's like a hey, uh, red flags, right? Red flags, red flags. Okay. So we 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 learn from the past example. Okay. Mathematically, I'm 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 saying mathematically. Okay. That the analysis from the top and analysis taken from the bottom at the centroid, the value has to be the same. I repeat again, okay. Uh, let, let, let me repeat what I said. So we realize that the analysis or at the point at the centroid, okay, the point at the centroid. The point at the centroid, not of the at the centroid. Okay. The analysis from the top or bottom have to generate the same shear stress magnitude. I have a question. Hey? I have a qu quick question. Yes. Um, when you were taking the Q of the flange, why did you use 8 for the width and not 12? Oh, this is because I, I took it. This is the distance. Right, okay. Thank you. Okay. So we know that the entire thing is 12 right take each side off that's why eight okay so this is the criteria i thought about you know the point of the centroid which we have done i, I mean i'm going to show you too i've done a lot of other example it has to match but somehow this case it did not match at all i'm like oh it did not match. and I discovered this before class start last Friday. I'm like, oh, there's something, okay? And I thought like, okay, uh, you know, let's put under the carpet and move on. <laughs> okay, I have a syllabus to teach. Go, 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 go. Okay, so we, 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 we went further than that. We, then then uh, a, a student, I think it was Maryam, okay, insists that, hey, what if I want to find the point 14 millimeters, right, at point F? And as I say, I also mean, oh, okay, uh, the values, uh, I was thinking, the values were not the same. <laughs> let's let's figure out. Then it make, before I try, right, because I proposed this solution, uh, this entire area, before I tried, I knew something was wrong already, okay? And then we, we had a good discussion and I have, and, and we were, speculating right and i realized that, let's stop okay let's figure out so i told you guys that i'm going to use a finite okay element to look at it and i realized that i actually don't need to use finite okay mathematically we have proven that above you analyze from the top or at the bottom and if the points are the centroid right it has to be the same this case is not the same so there is a rule missing, okay? There is a rule missing, okay? So I was thinking, okay, so the only way for this to work, right? The only way for this to work where analysis from the top and the bottom is the same is that the first moment of area has to match. Now, listen, I'm not just teaching this topic, okay? I'm teaching uh, you a way that there are concepts that you could prove mathematically. I repeat again, concepts that we're going to prove mathematically. Now, this I, I think this is a very important skill set. Why is it important? I never knew this maybe until four years ago. And I'm close to 50. Four years ago is 46. I discovered this when I was 46. I still remember when I discovered this, I was so happy. Why proving it mathematically is important, right? Is because of this. Okay, it is. It makes you think about the depth of your boundary condition that you have imposed. Number one, number two is cheaper. I mean, I have finite element software on my computer now. Okay, I could just click it and run simulation. It works. Okay, or, or I can get the answer. But a lot of times, 
when you are when you are in companies, okay, man, can be manufacturing, can be research, okay. You don't have finite element software at all, uh, 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 unless you are you are working in a design house, okay. You don't have a finite element at all, and to purchase a finite uh, element license commercially, okay, it's about eighty thousand uh, dollars per year annual renewal, and in a company, you, you your boss, you, you can go to your to your supervisor and say, I need a final element and to prove that how to get the value of the shear flow. Okay, you know what's he going to say? He's going to give you the the, the finger, the bird. Okay, no. <laughs> so you have to prove mathematically. So I realized, hey, let's let's prove mathematical math mathematically. So the only way for this to work, right? The only way is the first moment of area either taken from the top or from the bottom has to be the what has to be the same if it's different we are done right why this principle because we know that v and i are constant regardless of the point that we're going to find that's still true okay and then the thickness is the same all over okay so now so once I, I i got this okay so proving it mathematically is easy okay Coming up with a concept is we have to think again, okay? So, so, so last week on Friday, I decide to do this, okay? I decide, okay, what if now, okay? So at this stage, right? At this stage, when I was thinking, the four rules still stand, okay? The four rules still stand, okay? The four rules still stand, okay? But uh, something is off. Okay, something is off. Okay, the four rules still stand. So what is off? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to try is we are still going to find uh, point D. Okay, uh, based on analysis from the bottom. Okay. But now I'm going to change my area of consideration, okay? And some of you will say, well, why? Why? <laughs> right? Proving the concept is one thing. Coming up with the rules is another, right? So I decide the only way that this can be the same, the only way is the analysis that I'm going to take. Now bear with me. Yeah? It's only this area. Then the results will be the same. Okay, so I tried. Okay, so I tried. So Q at point D. So if, if we look at uh, geometry wise, because we cannot look at so the distance from here to here, right? The distance from here to the end is 26, right? And then the distance from here to here is a 10. Okay, so I, I decided, okay, let's take the area. Okay, now uh, first move of area. So some mention of first move of area is equal to the q of the web plus by q of the flange right so this will be equal so the width is equal to 2 depth is 26 26 divided by 2 plus by the width is 10 the depth is 2 this will become uh bleh, 25 so this value will be 2 times 26 times 26 divided by 2 plus by 10 times 2 times 25 is equal to 1176. And this 1176 did not look familiar before. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay. It's, uh, Q or 1176 times 10 to the power minus 9 meter cube. So we also know this analysis now is a white flange. Right, and this is uh, sorry, guys, too excited. When I'm excited, I cannot write. So we know that this is Q. If we analyze uh, uh, above the centroid, it's a box beam. So this area and this area has to be somehow the same. And because on the right hand side, right on the right hand column is Q. So if I take two, three, five, two divided by two, I get the same answer: one, one, seven, six. Okay, so therefore, the shear stress at point D is equal to V. V is equal to 5 times 10 to the power 3 
one one seven six times ten to the power minus nine divide by bleh, one three three one seven six times ten to the power minus nine and then divide by two times ten to the power